In the previous video, we had discussed about the genomic libraries. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the cDNA libraries. Basically, the cDNA library is different from a genomic library. The genomic library encompasses the entire genome of the cell, whereas the cDNA library just looks at what genes are being expressed in the cell. Now, let's have a look on how we would make a cDNA library. We are going to start off by isolating the messenger RNA. So basically, the messenger RNA is the RNA that is being expressed in the cell. That's what ultimately the proteins that are going to be produced by the cell. We are basically going to use the reverse transcription to create the DNA version of the RNA. Once we have the cDNA, then we need to add the restriction sites to the ends because we want the cDNA intact. So we just want to add the restriction sites to the ends of the cDNA. After that, we can treat the cDNA and the plasmids with the restriction enzymes. So we are going to cut up our plasmid with our restriction enzyme. Once we have cut our plasmids, we need to ligate it with the cDNA using DNA ligase. DNA ligase basically combines the cut-up plasmid and the cut-up cDNA to make a complete plasmid plus cDNA. And finally, once again, we can transform our bacteria and then the combination of all these cells, all with different types of cDNA, they form our cDNA library. And the cDNA libraries are very useful if you want to compare the differences in the protein expressions between two different cells. So we hope this video will help you in your study. Stay tuned with us for more interesting videos and lectures. Thank you.